Let's say you have a video in the timeline with some sort of music that you want to sync to. The easiest way to do that would be to select the music layer, press L two times, that'll reveal the waveform. That'll make it easier for you to visualize the beat drops and help you with the market placements. After that, you can carefully listen to the song and find the beat drops, but generally these high peaks in the song will be the beat drops that you would want to sync to. So I'm just going to position the playhead at the beat drop and place asterisk to place a marker. And pretty much do that for all the peaks that you would want to sync to. After you've placed the markers accordingly, you can right click in the empty space, new adjustment layer. Make sure the adjustment layer is above the video layer. You can go to effects and presets and search for fast backs blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set blur dimensions to vertical, blur radius to 100, iterations to 1 and repeat edge pixels should be checked. After that, you need to cut the adjustment layer down to one frame pieces. You can do that easily by moving one frame at a time, by pressing page down to move one frame forward, and then press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. Or you can go to Edit, and here you can find Split the Layer. So pretty much carry on splitting the adjustment layer every single frame, and do that seven or eight times, and then you can remove the excess part. Then you need to select every other adjustment layer piece. You know, three middle ones would be fine, and delete them. So how there's one frame window between the adjustment layer pieces. After that, you just select all the adjustment layers that are left, right click and select pre-compose. You can call this whatever you want. After you pre-compose, make sure this continuously rasterize icon is checked so that the pre-comp itself will become a, an adjustment layer. And all there is left is to move the pre-comp to the first marker then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and move that to the next mark and just keep doing that for every marker that you've placed. And in the end, you'll get this awesome bass shake effect that is super easy to create in Adobe After Effects, as you can see. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, give it a like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.